don't start with the bandage roll down, always bandage with the bandage roll up, as this helps to maintain tension and control of the bandage during application. Ensure bandages are applied at full stretch, unless applying a reduced compression or palliative bandage. Figure of 8 applications with 50% overlap, increase the number of layers applied to the limb resulting in a higher pressure and bandage stiffness. This can be useful for reducing slippage, increasing conformity to the limb and where higher pressures are required. Anchor the bandage once around the ball of the foot, completing one full turn so that the bandage roll finishes on the top of the foot at the base of the toes. Fold the bandage in half along its length as you take it over the top of the foot towards the great toe nail bed. Apply around the toe with no tension, ensuring the bandage does not have creases and sits flat on the toe. Continue in a spiral application around the toe with a 50% overlap until you reach the base. Ensure that when you get to the base of the toe, you come off over the top of the foot and the bandage is flat, not folded in half length ways. Take the bandage around the foot at the base of the toes and come back down over the top towards the nail bed of the second toe. If the toes have deep recess on the underside, cut some small squares of padding and fill in the spaces so that the bandage does not crease and cause trauma underneath. Repeat this method for each of the remaining toes. Remember to always begin with the bandage folded in half length ways and unfold to apply flat when the application reaches the base of the toe. Once all toes are bandaged, cut and secure the bandage with tape. Once the bandage is complete, check that it does not slip off and that toes have good colour and sensation. Apply one layer of Clinistretch Tubiquick. Cut to the length of the limb with 5 cm extra for folding over the completed bandage. Pad the limb using a selection of Clinistretch Soft. To shape the leg and protect bony prominences, start padding in a spiral application from the base of the toes. Concertina the padding around the malleolus for extra protection. Use additional padding to protect the shin bone and continue to 2 cm below the popliteal crease. Take your 8 cm clinistretch or clinistretch short bandage and place at the base of the toes. Apply three times around the foot and then continue around the lower ankle. Bring back down to overlap the bandage on the foot by 50%. Continue to apply in a figure of eight to cover the foot with the bandage finishing just above the ankle. Next, anchor your 10 cm bandage around the foot at the base of the toes with one full application. Continue to apply in a figure of 8 application with a 50% overlap as you did with the 8 cm bandage. Now feel the limb to find where the application goes from having two bandages to one, 
this area feels more spongy and is the starting point for your next 10 cm bandage. Continue in a figure of eight application until you reach two fingers below the popliteal crease, using more 10 cm bandages if necessary. If using Clinistretch, cut the bandage and secure in place. If using Clinistretch short, roll any extra bandage back down the limb without tension and secure using tape. Fold over the extra tubiquick and to protect the bandaging, cover with another layer from toe to knee. For a thigh application, apply Tubiquick and padding as shown in the below knee video, but continue to the upper thigh. Feel the limb to find where the application goes from having two bandages to one. This area feels more spongy and is the starting point for your next 10 cm bandage. Apply in a figure of eight until the bandage finishes. Continue the application until you reach the upper thigh. If using Clinistretch, cut the bandage and secure in place. If using Clinistretch short, roll any extra bandage back down the limb without tension and secure using tape. Once finished, Cover the whole leg with the appropriate size Tubiquick to preserve the bandage application.